Hello, my name's Roisin. Let's make something delicious. Hello friends. So, two of my biggest hobbies are obviously reading, but also cooking and baking is something that I love to do. And when I was at the library the other day where I work, um, I came across this book, The Little Library Cookbook. And it is a collection of recipes created by Kate Young, who also has an Instagram, which I will leave in the description. A collection of recipes inspired by food in books. Um, we all know when you read books and they are eating something delicious, how much you want to be able to try that thing for yourself. Well, this book enables you to make those things yourself. And so I thought it would be fun to spend a week or so making different recipes from this book that are inspired by my favourite childhood books in particular. There are books represented here that are not children's books. I have decided to focus on children's books that I have read. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the deliciousness. Bending down. The bear unlocked the suitcase with a small key, which it also had around its neck, and brought out an almost empty glass jar. I ate marmalade, he said, rather proudly. Bears like marmalade. But after a few days spent almost entirely out of doors, she wakened one morning knowing what it was to be hungry. And when she sat down to her breakfast, she did not glance disdainfully at her porridge and push it away, but took it up on her spoon and began to eat it, and went on eating it until her bowl was empty. So I'm in a rush because I am late for work, um, because I made this porridge, but I'm having porridge from the secret garden with marmalade from Paddington. So. The marmalade I think is overdone, it's quite um, hard, but it has been in the fridge and I don't think it's supposed to go in the fridge. Mmm, that's quite bitter and chewy. Oh dear, I don't think I did a good job on the marmalade. Porridge is fine. So today I am making rye bread and leek and potato soup from The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Only, I went to the supermarket and they didn't have any leeks which was a bit ridiculous. It was a small supermarket, but you think leeks are kind of a fairly standard product. We're doing scallions instead. So it will be a scallion and potato soup, but I mean, they look like tiny leeks. Um, and leeks are kind of sweet oniony flavor, aren't they? So scallions are a sweet oniony flavor. Might be a bit more mild than a leek and potato soup, but still, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be filling. And I've already, my bread is just proving. So it's nearly ready to go in the oven. Strangely, one of Liesel's favourite distractions was Frau Holzapfel. The reading sessions included Wednesday now as well, and they'd finished the water-abridged version of The Whistler and were on to the dream carrier. The old woman sometimes made tea or gave Liesel some soup that was infinitely better than Mama's. Okay, 
okay, so it's time to cut the bread. We don't actually have a serrated bread knife, so <laughs> this might be a bit of a butchery, but I'm very excited because usually when I make bread, I make it in our bread maker, but this one I made it all by hand, so it might not be very good. <laughs> I'm seeing all these sourdough people and they always cut it right through the middle, not with one hand and not with a bread knife, with a butter knife. But there we go. I'm going to put this down and try and do it a bit neater. Okay, so this is underbaked, like that's still dough, um, which is a shame because it sounded hollow, but it's not hollow. Oh well, I'm still going to eat it anyway. Maybe I didn't wait long enough to cut it either, but I'm hungry. Okay, here we go. Rye bread and new potato soup. Oh, scallion and potato soup. Hmm, not bad. The bread is underdone and a little doughy, but the crust's good and the soup itself is really delicious. Um, I don't think Liesl would have minded slightly underdone bread. It could be better, I'm a little disappointed in the bread. Also, it doesn't take the, taste that different from non-rye bread. It has rye flour in it, but I'm not sure what that's supposed to taste like, the taste difference. I imagined it to be like dovka, like black bread, like Russian bread, but it's not. Um, but it's tasty. It's a good meal. <laughs> Today is Sunday and so for Sunday I thought I would do a childhood favourite and that is Winnie the Pooh. So I'm baking things from Winnie the Pooh today and what do you think of when you think of Winnie the Pooh? Honey, of course, spelled H-U-N-N-Y. I am going to make honey and rosemary cakes. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, so I bought a muffin tin and I'm going to ice them. It's going to be quite proper little cakes which is exciting. Funny, he thought. I know I had a jar of honey there. A full jar, full of honey right up to the top. And it had H-U-N-N-Y written on it, so that I should know it was honey. I used a whole butter knife to test them. But they are done, pretty sure. And they're so bouncy. Some obviously had more batter in than others, but there we go. See, come out nice and easy. I just have to wait for them to cool and then I can make the cream cheese icing and put it on. I haven't made like cupcakes in so long and they're so cute. I love them. <laughs> My honey and rosemary cake inspired by Winnie the Pooh, a very hungry bear. So I'm going to see if it would satisfy his rumbling in his tumbling. Mmm, it's really good. The texture, 
absolutely perfect, which is great after my under baking the bread. These are very successful. They're also really tasty. You'd think being honey cakes, they'd be really sweet, but the herbiness of the rosemary really grounds them. And I love cream cheese icing. I would not by itself, it is too sweet to eat by the spoonful, but on anything, I would eat cream cheese icing. A moment later, the desserts appeared. Blocks of ice cream in every flavour you can think of. Apple pies, treacle tarts, chocolate eclairs and jam donuts, trifle, strawberries, jelly, rice pudding. As Harry helped himself to a treacle tart, the talk turned to their families. Hmm. Okay, so it is treacle tart and ice cream time, which is what they have in Harry Potter. Right, here we go. Managed to get myself a spoonful. And drop it. I'm probably drop it down my shirt every time. Mm. <laughs> it's very sweet. Very, very sweet. I mean, it's a bottle of golden syrup in some pastry. What do you expect? But it's quite nice. I don't think it'll be my new favourite, but it was fun to make. Okay, another bit about trickle tart is that it gets stuck right in your teeth. <laughs> the top's all like crystallised sugar. Mm. And the recipe said also that you have to warm it up before you eat it every time because otherwise it's like really hard Edinburgh toffee and you'll just break your teeth. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video and what? Oh, it seems we're not quite finished. There is one more treat. So it is uh, her brother late at night now and it is time for a midnight feast or at least a midnight snack. So I noticed when I was flipping through the book that there are there is a section for midnight feasts and so I decided to make chocolatel which is basically hot chocolate but from the world of his dark materials. Um, so I'm going to have that as a nice midnight treat to help me get to sleep. Do you like chocolatel? Yeah! As it happens, I've got more chocolatel than I can drink myself. Will you come and help me drink it? I'm sorry if this clip is a little shaky. I've had a disagreement with my tripod and we're currently not on speaking terms. So um, I'm doing this handheld, but I've got my chocolatel. Mmm, mmm, that's really rich and warm. I was thought it was a bit strange to put bay leaves in a hot chocolate, um, but it does add a nice depth and um, herbaceousness, pleasant herbaceousness to the flavour. It didn't make as much as I thought, like it didn't fill my cup. Um, it's also not that pretty now, I've been drinking from it. Um, but that's probably a good thing because it's like made with actual chocolate and cream, so if I had a whole cup of this I probably wouldn't feel very well, but it is delicious. Thank you for watching, I hoped you enjoyed that sweet treat of a video. It was really fun to explore some of my old childhood favourites through the medium of food, and yes, I do have Winnie the Pooh's honey cake with me right now. It is delicious. If you'd like me to make any more uh, book-based food, please let me know in the comments what your favourite food from literature is and I might have a crack at it. Please remember to like this video if you liked it and to subscribe because I put out new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. And so I will definitely see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.